Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2020 Mid-Month General Readings. Thanks for everyone to, for joining us here today, newcomers, first timers, and welcome back to followers and subscribers. Thanks for all your support and feedback of this channel. So this reading is for the fire sign of Aries for the last half of February 2020. Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising. If your Venus is in Aries or if you are cross-watching for Aries as well. As many of you know, general readings always resonate a little differently for everyone. So if you know your other signs, uh, sun, rising, moon, Venus, watch those as well. It can uh, be helpful and provide uh, additional clarification for you. If any of these readings do resonate with you and you'd be more interested in reaching out for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, just click on the description link below, click that little arrow, and you'll see a little more info and contact details. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I offer a wide variety of readings in all the main areas of life. And I do readings full time, five to six days a week. So I'm pretty diligent at working with people's schedules to get readings out to you or scheduled with you uh, in as timely a fashion as possible. So email me if you're interested and we'll go from there. All right, moving right along, Aries, our beautiful Rams. Let's see what the last half of February holds for you. All right, Aries, we begin with the Two of Swords. Feeling a little stuck. Perhaps being a bit reluctant or resistant to making a decision about something or dealing with something. Followed by the King of Swords. The Two of Wands. Two Twos followed by judgment. Getting this do I or don't I, not really actually even wanting to make a decision or deal with something that I feel is kind of a reality, but it's like you don't want to see it. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy, another two, the two of pentacles. That's three twos. <coughs> What's going on, Aries? <laughs> You have three number two cards, the two of pentacles, the two of swords, the two of wands. Twos can represent duality, two things, having to choose, two choices, being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision, but feeling kind of stuck in that duality at that crossroads energy, going back and forth, you know, going back and forth between two things. And the interesting thing is that in the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, there are things going on that the person is not seeing or deliberately keeping themselves from seeing. The Two of Pentacles, he's being very busy juggling these two things. There's a lot going on behind him, potentially beautiful things, rainbow, dolphins, ship coming in, all potentially positive things, but he has his back turned to him while he's kind of juggling. Kind of vacillating between two different choices, but not actually really making a choice. He's still keeping them in the air. And the Two of Swords, I sometimes refer to this as the head stuck in the sand card. Swords is governed by the element of Aaron, and the tarot, this represents what goes on in our heads. It's very mental, cerebral energy. Thoughts, ideas, perceptions, belief systems, ideologies, and how we communicate that outward. Words. The two of swords can represent two different choices, two different opposing choices, two different, two different things that contradict each other opposing forces, opposing ideas. The blindfold can represent a reluctance or a resistance to actually look at it head on. Even though you're compelled to do so, but there's a reluctance or a resistance to do it. 
So you keep your eyes closed, you keep yourself blind to it. Even though you know it's there, if you don't look at it directly, then you don't have to deal with it, but it needs to be dealt with. Something needs to be, a path needs to be chosen. And it's keeping you from, <clears throat> you know, making decisions, I think, that you're pretty good at making. I mean, what clarifies the Two of Swords? This is a lack of wisdom and insight and discernment, but it's almost in a being deliberately blind way. But underneath it is the King of Swords who is at the top of his game in this area. He sees things very clearly, he has a whole wealth of experience that leads him to see things clearly, intuitively, and exercises that practical wisdom and insight and intellectualism with compassion as a king. He's matured and grown and evolved and learned beyond the energy of the page and the knight. But you're keeping yourself from making a choice. I feel like you don't want to make a choice. You don't want to make a decision. We have the two of wands, another two, being at a crossroads. Which way do I go? What clarifies that? Judgment usually shows up when there is a choice or an opportunity, a call to action. Something, you're being called strongly, powerfully, and this is going to make a huge impact on your life because there often is an air of finality to judgment, meaning this reading is remarkably similar to Leo's. You may want to skip over and see Leo's as well. This is remarkably similar to Leo's. The air of finality to judgment because it's a, you know, this is a major arcana card. We have an archangel calling this horn, call to action. Whatever choice you make, whatever you set into action, set into motion, whatever path you choose, that's going to be pretty much it. It's going to set the stage for something for quite some time, and you're not going to be able to come back or come back easily from whatever this choice is. So think carefully, think wisely. If you say yes to this thing, then you will probably permanently or for a long time close the door to this other path or vice versa. For Leo, it was more about a significant relationship. It might be for you too, I can't tell, just based on this. I mean, it could be love, it could be romance, it could be career, it could be a job, some decision. But whatever you say yes to or whatever you say no to, it's probably going to be final. Now, judgment is also often looked at as the second chance or reconciliation card. It's a second and final opportunity to make a stand for yourself or this issue, to choose one way or the other and to justify that choice because um, you're accountable for it. <clears throat> Let's clarify this, this two energy. I mean, you really have four cards here, three twos and judgment that represent, uh, you need to make a decision about this once and for all. And whatever decision you make or don't make, because that's a decision too, that's what's going to stick. You're not going to be able to unring that bell after you ring it. And if you have the opportunity to ring the bell and you decide not to ring the bell, um, I don't think this bell is going to come around again. sounds very intense. It feels kind of intense. I mean, judgment is an intense major arcana card. It's, you know, the archangel is calling that horn. It is a call to action. This is, this is it. This is it once and for all in regards to this situation or whatever this choice is. What is this about? <coughs> the Knight of Cups. This, this is quite similar to Leo's. So the Knight of Cups. Knights are the bringers, the deliverers of the tarot. They're usually very focused, single-minded. They have a mission, a quest to accomplish. So they're all about going out and getting and delivering. They often represent offers or opportunities, and that offer or opportunity always represents change. They bring opportunities or offers of change. 
So this is the Knight of Cups. Cups is governed by the element of water in the tarot. And this is about our emotional energy, emotions, feelings, our heart energy. It's also often the area that deals with relationships, love, feelings. So the Knight of Cups is charging in to offer his cup of love, his love, his emotional support, encouragement. He is an idealist in love with love itself. He's matured beyond the page energy, although as a knight, he's still on the impulsive and spontaneous side, and he's not quite a king yet. So sometimes the Knight of Cups has the challenge and long-term delivery, you know, making those promises in the heat of the moment and then being able to deliver in the long run. But I don't think that applies just yet to you, Aries, because we've asked for clarification on what is this decision about? What is this stuck energy that you need to make a decision, but you don't want to make a decision? You don't even want to look at that you need to make a decision. It's about whether or not to make an offer to someone, an offer of love, perhaps, an emotional offer. <clears throat> In terms of outcome, I mean, it's a general reading. There's so many of you watching. It's going to be one thing for one person and another for another person. And we're looking at a short period of time here, just a, a span of around two weeks or so, the last half of February. Some of you might be involved with a Leo. Leo's was kind of similar. They were wondering whether to walk away from something they had invested. Um, perhaps some of you have been in a relationship with a Leo or another fire sign. You're contemplate, contemplating whether or not to make an offer, some of you, but some of you, it feels like you know that you need to make a choice, a decision about to make this offer or not, but it's as if you don't even want to look at the reality that this decision needs to be made. You don't want to, I feel like some of you don't want to make the decision and don't even want to look at even knowing that there is a decision that needs to be made, it feels like you're stuck in not wanting to do anything. I feel like at or towards the end of the month, many of you will have a pretty concrete opportunity here to make a decision. I think that there'll be an, an opportunity or a situation where you will need to make a decision and take action on this once and for all. And whatever you choose to do, and even deciding not to make a decision, will determine the outcome as well. Because choosing not to make a decision is actually a decision in and of itself. And the interesting thing is that I saw this for your sister fire sign, Leo, as well, towards the end of the month, coming back together again with judgment, make a decision once and for all as to where a relationship or a situation was going to be headed. Um, and that whatever came out of that, that call to action was going to stay in place for some time. Can't unring a bell after it's been rung. So that's what I see kind of going on for you for the last half of February, Aries. In terms of advice, judgment is advice in and of itself. This is not a decision that should be spontaneous or impulsively based, but it is a decision that needs to be faced and dealt with. So think carefully and make the decision. Take this blindfold off. Make the decision as to which pentacle it is you're going to hold on to. <clears throat> which decision? <clears throat> Wow, kind of an intense reading, Aries. Okay, Aries, that sums up your reading for the last half of February. Some readings are just like that. I hope that um, I hope that it at least gave you some useful food for thought. If this reading resonated for you and you or any of the readings resonate for you and you'd be interested in reaching out for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, again, just click on the description link below, hit the little arrow, pull down button, 
and you'll see uh, some more information there. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one Maguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the March 2020 general readings. And until then, Aries, as always, I wish you much love, joy, peace, and strength. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.